All right, class. Please make sure that you put your first and last name on your on your packet. Um, today is the sixth, so we're gonna put eleven six twenty three. This is the third period. Our assignments for this week will go as follows. Uh, we have our this is quarter two, week two, and we have our warm up. Oh, sorry, essential questions that goes first. You can put EQ, quarter two, week two. We have our warm up, quarter two, week two. We have our homework. Okay. And then today we're taking our cluster two test. Hush, you already knew. I already announced this like two weeks ago. So please hush. Well, it is what it is. <laughs> if you didn't hear, you didn't hear. All right. Please make sure that you read the board for the announcements because the, they're always there. Okay. So read the board for the announcements so you can see what's going on. All right. Your... Your weekly goal, please make sure that you put your weekly goal there. Maybe your weekly goal is to make sure that you get your homework done nightly. This week, we're going to be working on equations, so maybe you need to be able to understand how to solve an equation. My goal is to help students understand how to solve an equation. You write the essential question. Shh. Write it. Write Oh, Miss Reyes, equations. All right, so you write down what your goal is this week. As you're writing your goal, I'm going to go over the agenda. Today, we write, you don't have to write, baby. We write our EQs. We're going to write our weekly goal. We're going to do the warm up. After which, you're going to complete the test. The test is on SchoolNet. The SchoolNet code is capital H, capital U, number seven, capital M, capital E, and number three. Your homework help video is on Canvas. Your homework help video is on Canvas. I may send it through Remind today. Now we're going to write down our essential questions. The essential questions are on the board. The review essential question, we're not going to write that down. That's just what we're doing today. You're covering on your test today. You should know how to perform multiple transformations. Your whole test is on multiple transformations. The first... Huh? What are you confused about? We're just writing the essential questions. All right, so first essential question is describe how to solve multi-step equations. We're going to do that tomorrow. Describe how to solve multi-step equations. Thank you. Describe the difference between one solution, no solution, and infinitely many. Describe the difference between one solution. The difference, that's correct. One solution. And what else? And infinitely many. Infinitely many. Good job. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-
all expressions. Number three, define the following. So we have expressions, which we'll learn that there are two types of expressions. We have terms and variables. Terms, variables. Coefficient, inequality, light term, Distributive property. Mm -hmm. And is it equation? Yeah. Equation. Okay. And I'm going to pause for the calls to give you a chance to write those down, okay? Uh, guys, again, this is Native American um, History Month. Please make sure that you read over about different Indian Americans or Indians in ger general that have contributed a lot to society. It's super important because that's where our history, especially our history in this country, started with the Indians because, of course, the Indians were here first. Okay, They were the first ones to settle on this land. This was their home first before people from Europe and people from other countries started colonizing this, this country, okay? Started making it their home. So please make sure that you read, read over those things or study about Native American um, history because that's all of our history because that's where it started in America with the Native Americans. So that's important. Let's turn over to the warm up, please. All right, so when you're looking at a function, let's write the definition of a function. A function is where the x values of a table, graph, line, or a set of ordered pairs Do not repeat. Do not repeat. So, hmm? Is? No, I mean like after the Oh, where? Is where? So it's where the x values do not repeat at all. All the x values of a function are going to be different. If they repeat, then it's not a function. So let's look at the graph. After you write the definition, we're gonna look at the graph and we're gonna decide whether or not it's a function. All right, here we go. So look, let's look at the line. Let's look at all these points that are on the line. It's a lot of points on this line, even points within points. Do any of these points have the same X value? Yeah. Yes, they do. This point right here has the same X value. This point is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5, 5. This X value is 5. And this X value down here is also 5. Because it's 5, comma 1. These X values are the same. So this is not a function. And again, because the X values repeat. And they're not supposed to repeat in a function. Because, we can, I can spell out the word, abbreviation for because is BC. 
Not to put busy home. But just remember that the abbreviation for because is B slash C. Okay. If you finish the test early, please make sure that you work on your homework. You can watch the homework help video to help you with your homework. But please make sure that when you finish your test, that you immediately start working on the homework. Please make sure that we go to go to SchoolNet. Let's go to SchoolNet, please. The testing code, we already wrote it down on our packet. It is also on the board. We need to finish the test today. It is not that long. It's not that many questions at all. You can finish this in this class period. When you finish, please make sure that you work on your homework. You are not to talk. If you talk, I'm going to give you silent lunch today. Okay? We have got to really practice being quiet. You're going to be the first victim. Being quiet when we need to be quiet, okay? All right.